Shay, you do love to leave it late. How good did that feel? Yeah, um, obviously it's, it's good. We, we wanted to get back-to-back -back wins. We did that today. Um, obviously we did make it tough in the first 20 minutes. We didn't start well. Um, and, you know, sometimes that's something to take. We, we need to, you know, we need to learn from that. Um, and we'll, we will analyse the game. Um, we'll take the positives, but we'll also take the negatives as well, where we can improve. Um, but, you know, take nothing away from it. It's, it's brilliant to, to get three points, no matter how you get it. Um, even if you haven't played your best or you're not at it throughout the whole 90 minutes to get three points, that, that just, um, you know, shows the, uh, you know, the willingness and, and the passion within that squad to fight back from 2-0 down and to, to go 3-2 three two, uh, three two up and win the game. That just shows our character and you're going to need that if you want to be um, looking at, um, at, you know, top half of the table and pushing for sort of greater things in this season. We spoke to the gaffer quite at length about the formation change put in just before the uh, the first goal that we scored. For yourself, how does that change your game, playing from the, the centre of a back three to playing the right-hand side of a two? Well, um, you know, I'm well-seasoned playing in a four. Um, last couple of seasons I played in a three, so actually going to the four, it, it, it kind of suits me anyway. Um, you know, it, it's good from the gaffer. I mean, it picks, it picks his... Um, his brains and his act to make decisions. Um, it's obviously helped us um, and that's why he's the gaffer. That's why you know he, he, he does well wherever he goes. Um, and he made that decision and it worked out well for us. So, you know, we're buzzing that um, that helped us. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't really, for me, it's, I'm, um, you know, experienced enough to play in a four or, or in a three. So once that change was made, I was comfortable to, to go into a back four. From on, on your goal, of course, for a highlight for you tonight. Can you talk us through it from your perspective, what you saw and everything like that? Um, no, like, you know, when I go up, um, it's not just me. Um, you know, Tom Flanagan, Matthew Pennington, he was on the score sheet today. When we when we go up, we, we're no longer centre-arse. We're, we, we're almost like a, we're attackers, we're strikers. So um, any little second balls, any first contacts, we want to try and get on the end of it. I think Flano ends up winning a little head down. I take a good touch, um, and then a shin roll. <laughs> but no, no matter however it goes in, it's good to obviously get that. You know, I just in my head it was just a case of take a nice touch and hit the target, and then if the keeper makes a brilliant save, brilliant. Obviously fortunate for me, it hits the back of the net, and um, you know, like I said at the start of the season, you know, when I go up, we have to go up with intent, um, and it, and that's what I do. Do you know what I mean? Try and affect the goal and try and score goals. And fortunate for me, and Pennington, um, and a wonderful strike from Bailey. He was, you know, arguably one of our better players today. Um, obviously, he got man of the match. I thought Flannel, uh, uh, Tom Flanagan was was outstanding for me personally because when we weren't doing well in the first 20 minutes, he he was doing well from what I could see and he was galvanising the lad. So, um, you know, like I said, being in, being in a box, I've got to make sure that I'm ready just for balls to just fall down and, you know, from there hit the target and then get a goal. And I'm, 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 I'm happy to do that. Obviously, it's two for you in 10 games, two for Matt Pennington in 10 games. And the two of you asked Tom Flanagan to get his shooting boots on. Had any jokes with him about it yet or anything like that? Oh, I'll be honest with you, like shooting and training, to be fair, Flannel, he's, a good, he's actually good at shooting. Like, it's mad. He's, he's got a finesse. He can put his foot through the ball. I'm, I'm sure he's going to be, um, you know, a crucial uh, part of scoring goals as well. Listen, he didn't get a goal today, but he got an assist with my, with my goal. And... There's a, lot of, there's a lot of games for him to get on the score sheet. I mean, first and foremost for me, Matty Pennington and Tom Flanagan is to try and keep clean sheets. We didn't do that today. Um, but where we can help with goals, it's, it's always uh, added, added, added benefit. So um, I don't worry about Tom Flanagan getting a goal. Um, I know he will get a goal this season or two or three um, and he will chip in but he was crucial because he got an assist today. You know, If he doesn't put his head in where it, where it hurts I, I don't end up getting a goal um, and I'd do the same for him. So um, He's been lucky. He could have scored started the uh, start season against Morecambe. Keeper but pulls off, pull, pulls off a good save. He has good shots so he's threatening as well so don't take it away from him. He'll get his goals. I'm sure, I'm sure about that. And just finally, you mentioned already, but it's two wins from two undefeated since Ipswich. The key thing now, just keep the momentum going. Yeah, we've just got to plan for Port Vale. It's going to be a tough game again. I don't think there's any easy games at, at, um, in League One. Um, 
like you said, I thought, I thought Exeter were actually good, you know, coming from uh, being a side, coming from League Two, um, you know, they did have their spells. They are, um, they have got their threats, have scored a lot of goals this season. Uh, and fortunate for us, we dealt with that. Um, Port Vale is going to be a different challenge. Um, another side that's been promoted from League Two. Um, and I think they're tough. They're tough games. You know, you can't ignore um, their momentum. They've obviously done well last season. You know, Bristol Rovers was a tough game away from home. Um, this was a tough game today. Port Vale will, will be no different. They've come up from League Two. They're going to they're gonna be, you know, fully equipped and trying to spoil um, anything that we bring. Um, so it will be a tough game and, you know, they have momentum. They got promoted and I've, I've had it before. When you do get promoted from lower leagues, that can build into this season. So it's for us to make sure that we start well. Um, I don't think we did that tonight. Um, but that would definitely be one of the key factors um, to, to do for the, uh, the following game. We want to start every game well, but that'll be one of the things that we want to do.